Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, Tonight's topic is just going to be some rambling and some musing. So uh, it's just what's on my mind and what I've been up to. I have been making freeze-dried food like crazy of late. Um, no new video. I'm going to try to get some new, new content out uh, with doing some puddings. Um, but after this next batch of uh, Alfredo shells and chicken comes out. So I've been stacking that stuff pretty good. I've been increasing my pantry as well. And I got like 150 kilos of rice processed, frozen, bag, bucketed, and uh, ready to sit for long-term storage. Now I'm gonna just keep adding and keep stacking. I, I'm gonna tend not to give a video uh, on things that I've already done, right? So that's, uh, that's what, where I'm at. So you're not getting a lot of content. But uh, I am still very concerned about uh, food um, going into the new year. 2023, I think, is going to be uh, an eye-opener for a lot of folks. I mean, I can regurgitate all the stuff I'm reading on the news about the beef and the feed and the, the food. But I'm almost certain that some of the canned food stuff I'm buying now is made in, you know, the end of 21 and the beginning of 22. Um, shelf life out to 25 and 24 respectively, whatever, so that's fine. But the harvest globally is still down so bad that I just don't see a lot of manufacturers putting out a lot of stuff. A new trend I've seen is a lot of stuff is coming in plastic bags instead of cans like it used to, and that could be um, cheaper to produce that way or, you know, or it could be the shortages of the cans or canning capabilities. Either way, I don't mind. It just doesn't stack quite as well, but that's fine. Um, typically, the canned food stuff is consumed either fairly quickly or set aside for long term. So I just want to reiterate uh, real quick before I forget on the topic of food. If you're not stacking food, please stack something. Can of tuna a week, you know, corned beef, a little bit of rice, pasta. Oh, pasta is interesting. I, I bought a lot of pasta if you've seen my pantry video. And uh, as I was making some uh, shells this week, I had a little black weevils in four of the bags, four of the, like 50 bags, because I double checked them all afterwards. So, uh, yeah, and those were fairly recently bought. So it's, it's, it comes down to just double checking your stuff. You know, I just dumped them into the freezer for three days. Um, I used them when I was cooking and all the little weevils flow to the top and I got them all out of food, that's fine. But it, it, it's a reminder for you guys that if you do have um, food stored and sitting on it for a while just to double check it and having those weevils in the uh, pasta was kind of odd for me but uh, you know it's, it's how it goes right so I'm, I'm doubling down and making sure my rice has twice the amount of O2 absorbers and that I freeze it for two days um, in every effort I can to kill anything that might be in that rice so that when I do open it later in life uh, that rice is gonna be fine so let's see, uh, war updates. Um, I, I still think it's 50-50 that Putin's gonna use a technical battlefield nuke or something sneaky or tricky. I, you know, I watch all the updates and I see all the things that are going on um, in Russia as well. Um, he's losing the populace uh, because all these boys aren't coming home, right? Or not coming home alive. And all the intercepts paint a pretty bleak picture for the Russian fighters. Um, and they realize that Putin doesn't care about them, the family doesn't care about them, I'm sorry, the uh, commanders don't care about them. And uh, they were lied to, you know, four month contract and you get paid X and they've been there eight months and told they can't leave or they'll get shot, you know, and no one's got paid. I mean, it's just a, a shit situation, shit show. I feel sorry for the guys that were pulled into that mess, all for politics. But uh, I'm still 50-50 on that, it's just gonna keep escalating, especially now that the uh, Ukraines have started um, hitting things within Russia itself more, right? So, I mean, they went after an oil refinery and storage facility um, yesterday, and they keep escalating it outside of their borders, which I don't blame them because they got invaded by another country. I don't blame them for doing whatever they can. It's just, I know that it's gonna be seen as an escalation so I'm still 50-50 on whether that whole war is going to go tits up and it's going to be a really bad problem. Japan has signed their biggest uh, defense budget 
ever. So Japan says a word about you know China and or Russia because the islands in the northern part of Japan are uh, a conflict zone for Russia and Japan. So you know, yeah, war is everywhere. I mean, it, it's amazing if you stop and write down where all the current wars are and put them all on a map that it's not a world war yet. It's just surprising. I think there's just too many sides for people to draw up and say, okay, we're gonna have a world war when you know too many people have different beliefs in each of these instances. Um, natural disasters have been pretty crazy. Flooding, still a thing. Uh, tornadoes in the US killed some people the other day. Uh, hurricanes out here. Uh, volcanoes have been going off. I mean, and there always are volcanoes going off, but I would say more so than uh, normal. And, uh, you know, it's just a you know, crazy time. It's a great time to be prepared. And, you know, I'm telling my friends that once you wake up and realize that the food inflation is 20% and it's gonna be another additional 15 to 20% on top of this year's rate next year, um, by then, it's going to be too late to, to get a lot of food stuff stocked up. You're going to see panic buying. Um, you know, the prices are, are high. Produce in a lot of places is pretty crappy. Um, what else is going on? Scarcity. You just can't find some things. You know, and that's true out here in the Philippines as well. You know, I live out in a farming community and there's still uh, scarcity to some things. So it's, uh, it's a great time to be a prepper. Um, Medical-wise, you know, I... Uh, had a nurse come out um, two, two days ago and looked at all my supplies, was surprised at some of the things I actually had. Um, and she made some great recommendations for additions. Um, hopefully there will be a video very soon. The same nurse is gonna help me. I'm gonna try to do um, an IV drip on myself. That's something I wanted to learn to do. It's like part of my boosting my skills. It's taken a couple weeks to get uh, it all lined up, but I'm hoping that that's gonna come out just fine too. Um, I'm sure I can do it. I've seen her give IVs. I've, I've had many IVs. I've seen, I just haven't done it hands on. So, you know, there's a bunch of skills like that and dressing a chicken. You know, and that here's, here's I'm going to switch real quick. You'd think it would be easy just to go get a chicken. People are hoarding their chickens, their live chickens. It's like, I, I, I want a chicken, I want to kill it. And I think what I'm going to have to do is, is I'm going to have to send uh, one of my helpers or my assistant out to a uh, a chicken farm actually buy a live chicken out there because locally everybody that has you know a dozen or two dozen chickens doesn't want to get rid of them and, and they don't want they don't want to kill they're, they're using them for eggs right now and uh, that's kind of interesting so uh, yeah those are the two skills I identified right away that I want to work on and then uh, I got a couple items I want to review I want to get those out there I, I've had a solar generator and, a, and a solar panels for a while I haven't really used it yet and it's been rainy, but I'm waiting for a nice sunny day and I will probably drain down the unit uh, with the load of a, a, a fan uh, and so you can see how long it lasts and then I'll charge it up with the sun and basically just give a review of the product. It was something I picked up last year during one of the holiday sales and I've used it for emergencies, uh, for LED lighting when the power is out and stuff like that. I want to do a review on that. I want to talk about uh, stacking non-food items uh, like soaps, detergents, stuff like that. I, I am doing that as well. Um, I haven't gotten nearly enough where I'm proud enough to say, look at all the stuff I got yet. No, I'm still stacking that stuff up slowly as well. It's a bit more pricey, um, but it's also important. Um, my wife just the other day just made 46 liters of dish soap using a, a kit we get that's small in size and has all the powders and you mix them in a certain order uh, with the water and then let it settle and sit and it's something that we have because first it's cheap and we can make our own dish soap and it's something that can stack and sit on a shelf for years so it's kind of a neat thing uh, i wanted to do a full video on that but she, she she was excited and just went ahead and made her own soap right away so i'm going to wait till we do the next 46 liters which will be probably quite a while before we use up that batch so um not a whole lot's been going on. I just stack it every day, you know, watching too much news every day, trying to read a few books, trying to relax, and uh, trying to get the message out that everyone um, at a minimum should keep stacking food. I know the holiday seasons are tough. It's, it's tough on me as well. You know, we have a lot of responsibilities and obligations out here. And 
you know, that's just the way it is. So everything we're giving away gift wise are almost all food baskets and food things like that because you know, all my water crew and a lot of the people that we know that you know, we feel obligated to give a gift to, um, it's either gonna be a, a small amount of cash or it's gonna be food, right? You know, at least we know for a day they have a, you know, food. So, you know, I'm, I'm anxiety wise, I'm actually doing pretty good. I'm in good shape. I, I got a buddy from the US been out here for a week and um, been able to hang out and bullshit and talk, so that's helped me a lot. Um, Things are going great. I mean, this isn't this isn't just a, a spiel on prepping, 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 and, and expat life, and my construction's still going. I'm finishing up my awning up front. I'll probably have a video on that in another week when it's completed. So I'm still doing just fine out here. I'm well. Um, you know, this is holiday season, so I, I do miss my family back in the U.S., but we chat on, on Skype, so we're okay that way. And uh, yeah. So that's my update, that's my ramblings. I, I wanted to put a video out because I haven't done one in a couple days. And you know, the, the few fans and subscribers that I do have, most of them are family and friends, so they kind of want to follow along and see what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. If you're new and you've watched all the way to the end, first of all, thank you. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you like these ramblings from an old guy in the Philippines, hit that like button. Do take the time to check out some of my other videos. They're pretty cool. I think so anyways, or I wouldn't keep doing them. And with that, thank you.